Hi, my name is Jacob Hanley, and today I'm going to show you expireddomains.com and how you can use it. Whether you're a domain investor, an SEO marketing person, or just somebody who's starting to get their foot in the domain industry, this is a wonderful free tool that you can use to start researching expired domains and many other things. And today I'm going to show you a little bit how to use it and start getting involved in domaining. So to begin, let's talk about what is expireddomains.com. Expireddomains.com is a database, a tool, and a platform that allows you to get exclusive data and insights on expired domains, domains with history, backlinks, and so many other types of different domains, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for authority, if you're looking for traffic, if you're looking for resale value, there's many different uses that you can use expired domains for, and that's the wonderful thing. But the best part about expireddomains.com is it's absolutely free and you can get started without even signing up. Let's look at why expired domains is the next tool you need in your domain arsenal. So let's say I'm looking for a solar leads domain because I'm selling solar leads. You can dive on in, we can see everything from the price to how many bids, to the estimated auction price, to the birth year. This part's my favorite as a marketer because normally you have to pay a lot for this. SEM rush rank, your Moz authority score, even your cost per click for these keywords and the average search volume. And this is all updated daily in real time, completely for free. As you can see, I'm not even signed in and you can see all this. Let's say I like digitalsolarleads.com. We can go, we can expand it. We can add it to my cart on GoDaddy. It's $900. Tells me the length, tells me how many other TLDs are registered, tells me when this was first registered. Now, after registering, you're gonna to come to this page right here. Now we can really look at some of the cool features and abilities of expireddomains.com, including the ability to adjust these columns based on what you're looking for and what you wanna see from citation flow, to trust flow, to who the registrar is, to external backlinks, to even Facebook shares and what it looks like on social media, if it's adult, other TLDs, and so many other things, all completely for free. As a guy who's been in the domaining space for a while, normally for these types of statistics and data, you have to pay. You have to subscribe to some kind of membership to see this. So considering all you need to do is give an email to see this, you should give expireddomains.com a try. Use it for your next domaining investment venture or anything that you're trying to do in the domain space. One of the other greatest tools, in my opinion, of expireddomains.com is the ability to create watch lists of domains. Because expireddomains.com is updated daily several times a day, it's a great free tool to keep an, your eye on certain domains that you're trying to watch, especially if there's several that you have on different marketplaces. That's one of the greatest parts of expired domains. Is it condenses after Nick, GoDaddy auctions, auto back order, and several of the other marketplaces all into one and allows you to keep your eye on them simultaneously without having to go through those marketplaces directly and kind of condenses it into one centralized hub, which is a very valuable resource and ability for any domainer of any kind. The other thing I really like, and this is kind of, you know, depending on your purpose, you can choose the length, you can choose when it's gonna end, where it came from, what kind of auction it came from, your price point, the DA, everything. There's a lot of tools that don't even have half this and you have to pay for it. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Try expireddomains.com today and I'll see you in the next video.